I, I never view that I, if I could turn back the, the, the clock, uh, turn back the time, I would approach things differently because I, I you know, through, through a lot of uh, mistakes that I have made, it has directed to me, uh, directed me where I am now. Um, I do enjoy making mistakes because this is how we learn in life. And often at the time when something bad happens and you make a mistake, you are, you are very uh, emotional and you, you, are, you are hating. And you, after you look back on it, uh, you, you can see that that was a defining moment that either directed your, your, uh, your work in a different direction or just you yourself grow as a human being and you know every day we are learning more about ourselves learning more about everything so for me uh, especially with my my art practice I try to allow myself a little period of room that I get to experiment I get to make mistakes uh, because often through these mistakes come these little moments of genius that I uh, will, uh, uh, I get some amazing idea that even though I, I maybe make a mistake on, on one artwork, I can use the positive elements that did work within that piece and use it for my next piece. So it, it is growth and, and without experimenting and trying and making mistakes, uh, I don't think you will, very, you will grow very fast. If you are uh, working on something that you are confident and, and you know that there is some kind of formula, uh, we're talking about evolution here and I, I, I don't see artists evolving if they're not uh, taking risks and, 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 uh, and making mistakes. So um, also my advice for, for the next generation is to, is to try out everything. Uh, allow room to make mistakes. We're not perfect. We're human beings. So, you know, and every mistake we, we, we make, we, we, we learn more and we, we can use it in the future. So, yeah, that's what I believe in. My advice that I give uh, the, the younger generation that uh, aspire to uh, choose the same career, to choose an artistic career, is to be realistic. Uh, nothing happens at the beginning. You have to be very persistent. As I mentioned, you need to live and breathe it. You need to eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You need to uh, be very hungry uh, and determined for it. Um, and, uh, but as I said, you, you need to be realistic that in the beginning, you m might have to uh, uh, do it part-time. I don't like the word hobby, but uh, you, you might need to actually uh, have a job and work on this part time and then maybe see, um, as I mentioned, that the popularity will increase uh, and you get more of an idea that you could possibly focus more on your artistic career um, than say uh, more of a, a commercial job or working for something, someone else because I, I'm my own boss. I, 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 uh, you know, I have my own business, which is myself, which is uh, James Recker. So, uh, it, it, it didn't, it didn't happen just like that. And you know, I, I've been involved in this scene uh, for close to 15 years now, and I have to say, it was not easy at the start. So, my advice uh, to uh, the the, the next generation of artists and street artists is that they, they do have to be realistic and realize that it do, does take many, many years to be able to reach your goals, but to be uh, determined and, and to, um, uh, to, to stick in there, you know, to, to uh, be persistent and, and you will reach your, uh, your goals. If you're truly passionate about it, I, I believe maybe it's a very uh, hippie of me to say this, but uh, I think uh, if, you, if you truly want something, it will find you. You don't need to force it too much. At this stage uh, is very much a balance between my street art practice, so my murals and my gallery work. I, I view it 50-50 because I, I cannot, um, deny my roots where I came from. And for me, that is still my, my passion, that uh, it, it, it is something that I, it connects me with my friends. I still go out, uh, 
you know, at night uh, in, in Berlin, there, there are a lot of um, abandoned factories and facilities that I go out and we do this work for free. We do this for ourselves. We are not even posting photos online. We are not trying to use it as a tool to get any exposure. We do it because we love it. And, and I, I want to keep this up because it is my passion and it's where I, I, I've come from. But I also, uh, for me, uh, working in the studio and, and, and making artwork, I get to explore different um, a different avenue that I would never be able to take my street work in. Uh, I, I find uh, in the gallery I'm able to experiment a lot more with different mediums, texture, uh, more, more room for, maybe I like, I, I'm allowing more room for error with my, my artwork because I, I feel it, uh, it allows me to be expressive in a different way that my, uh, my street practice, because I, I've been um, you know, painting on the street for uh, close to 15 years now. I do want to expand and I'm feeling the itch to, uh, to try out other things. I, I love photography and I, 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 I also love to, to, to use my hands. I used to do pottery back in the day. I, I had a wheel and I, I would create um, it very much Jap Japanese influenced pots. I would make sake sets. I would like to start building. I would like to start uh, uh, creating some 3D sculptures that will accompany, uh, you know, my work in future shows. I, I like the idea of having like uh, an installation and also a nice balance with uh, pictures on walls.